Let's do this! Yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready! Go, 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 baby! Now we gotta go! Ready to roll! Let's go, boys! And welcome to the St. Louis Dome in St. Louis, Missouri, here on the Sega Sports Network. It's the Divisional Playoffs, and we're going one step closer to the Super Bowl. Hi, everybody. I'm Dan Stevens, and with me, Peter O'Keefe. Who's caught your eye out there, Peter? It's all about Torrey Holt. This receiver has been the silent assassin for this offense, making unbelievable catches in the clutch. He's an athletic, fluid, and smooth runner who is very skilled at making an acrobatic catch at any time. The plays that this kid makes can rarely be duplicated. The Buccaneers are coming to face them. Who do you think has to play a role for their team? I can't help but like Keyshawn Johnson. He is the motor that keeps this offense running. And because of his size, speed, and toughness, he usually has the defensive backs at his mercy when they match up against him. And when he doesn't have the ball, he's just as effective because he's arguably one of the best blocking receivers in the game. This guy is one of a kind. What you have? Big cold hand. hand. It is Phil. The Rams elect to defend for a change. Here comes the kicking squad. for the opening kickoff. Ooh, a weak kick. Ooh. Anthony has it. 30. <laughs> Comes in and makes the tackle on the return. The Rams want to come out and establish defensive pressure. It's right into it from the onset of the game. The Buccaneers have the ball, so let's get started. Miller. The flag is blown on the plate. Let's 
let's see what it is. Personal foul, rookie of the passer. Number 98 on the defense. 15 yards. Frank Wistrom gets called for roughing the passer. Something refs won't ignore in a league that wants to protect its quarterbacks. A late hit is a late hit. First and ten. Wiggles out of the middle. Hammers him after a couple of yards. A gain of four. Second down. Six yards. It's now second and six. Nearly gets it off. Incomplete pass. Sean King was really getting squeezed by the defenders there. He quickly got off a pass that went nowhere. Better than getting sacked, I guess. Well, he's not putting much faith in his offensive line to keep the Wolves at bay. And based on how close they were getting, I don't blame him. Me neither. It's now third and six. I'm between you and that ball right now. The ring is going to Somebody get over there. Get over there. in a row, and the last two plays have looked a little right. And the defense has to be pretty happy on this first drive of the game. Absolutely nice play all around, and we'll more than likely see the punting unit come on the field now. Royals comes in to punt after a three and out. Runs out of bounds at the end of the return. The Rams have their shot at it now, and they would love to put the first points up on the board. It's nice to get the lead and be in control from the beginning of the game. The Rams are on the field, and we'll see if they can put some points on the board. It's picked up. On sideline, 45. The 40, the 25. for the first time this game. I can't say I agree with this call at all, Dan. It's a fake. <laughs> he did not get the two-point conversion. It's the end of the first quarter. The Rams currently enjoying a slight advantage, but it's anybody's game. 6-0. Sets up and will kick it away. The kick is up. Anthony catches it. Makes the tackle on the return. A return to 16 yards. First down, Buccaneer. Buccaneers have the ball and will start this drive at the 23-yard line. Gets it off. Johnson was looking for the ball, but it falls incomplete. Sean King felt the heat on that one. You got to give the defense its props, baby. Nice pressure. If you can spook a quarterback into throwing early, that's almost as good as bringing him down to the turf yourself. Almost, but I'll bet they missed the satisfying thud of pretty boy QB hitting the turf. 52 seconds on the clock. 
Stop the clock. First down, 10 yards to go. Time out on the field. The clock is at 45. Look over there, look over there. Go, set, run. Makes the tackle just past the line of scrimmage. Nice play. The Buccaneers stop the clock and use their second timeout. the 49. Played into him and stopped that play in the backfield. Nice job. The Buccaneers all time out and stop the clock. That was their last time out. Third down. 13 yards to go. Time out on the field. The clock is at 35. Go! Yo, yo! Just gets it. He's having real difficulties finding his receivers so far. And these are the numbers that prove it. Royals will punt for the second time. Offense and yes, they stay on top. We'll see if they can add to their lead here. Fresh 21 seconds left. For big yardage, first down. Isaac Bruce made all the right moves all the way downfield, and to top it off, he made the tough catch. Peter, tremendous pickup through the air. Great ball. Let's see what they do for an encore. It's the end of the first half. The Rams currently enjoying a small advantage. 6-0. called a good game plan so far. Let's see if they can keep it up here. Lock reads, one minute, 56 seconds. That's their first sack of the game, and wow, that was a doozy. What a hit. You press through the line and ended up having a tailgater on the quarterback's forehead. What a punishing blitz. Either he read that offensive line perfectly and was able to beat them back. It's like watching a pack of lions bring down a deer. It makes you wince, but you can't look away. The clock is down to a minute and 38 seconds. for a new team next year. Passes 
incomplete. And Warner really dodged a bullet on that play, throwing into double coverage like that. I know he's got a pretty good, accurate arm, but why tempt disaster like that? Well, as you say, he's often able to find his man under tough circumstances. Maybe he thought it was the best card he could play. Ball at the 18-yard line. Get the punt team ready. Get the punt team ready. I'm going to go and Complete. They've missed their target these past two plays. Dan, it's fourth down, but they should feel pretty comfortable with this lead. I think comfortable enough to punt it away. Let's see what they do. Right. Looks like they're going for it on fourth and 15. One question here, Dan. Why? Well, I, I have no idea. It's as if the coach didn't know what down it was. Terrible call. The Buccaneers are on the field, and we'll see if their opening drive of this half is more successful. and makes a nice tackle in the backfield. Todd Collins saw where that one was going and was there to break it up, adding a few yards to the offense's misery. Ball on the 21. It's the end of the third quarter. The Rams currently enjoying a slight advantage, but it's anybody's game. 6-0. Fourteen. Pass is no good. Incomplete. Sean King sure threw up a turkey under pressure. They had him running scared, Dan. It does not look good for a quarterback to get frazzled like that. You know the defensive line is licking their lips in the huddle and ready to go twice as hard next time. Down to 58. Just gets it off. Oh, Dan, look at how much more effective they are at stopping the pass. Credit's got to go to the DBs who are playing some of the best football they've ever played. They're going for the first down on fourth and 14. If they got the three instead of going for it, they would have brought the score to within a field goal. I'm not sure if they're reasoning behind this game. Not a smart move there, Peter. Right. Deion, the game is locked. Lines up for the point after. Yo, yo. There's the kick.
Perkins will kick this one away. This is returnable. Murphy catches it. They'll make the tackle on the return. The Buccaneers will want to score right here. It's late in the game and the score is still close. So they can't allow themselves to come away empty-handed. The Buccaneers have the ball at the 24, and that's where they'll start this game. 44! He throws this one away. Incomplete. No gain on the play. Second and ten. Let's not give me anything. Nothing, baby. Wow! Pick him up, pick him up! Sir. Shows 29 the seconds left. is at 25. the ball but it's anybody's game this is an important drive 13 seconds left
everybody, and welcome to the St. Louis Dome in St. Louis, Missouri, here on the Sega Sports Network. It's the conference championship, and the winner will have the right to go on to the Super Bowl. Hi, everybody. I'm Dan Stevens, along with Peter O'Keefe. Now, in your opinion, Peter, who's the player to watch down there? It's all about Torrey Holt. This receiver has been the silent assassin for this offense, making unbelievable catches in the clutch. He's an athletic, fluid, and smooth runner who is very skilled at making the acrobatic catch at any time. The plays that this kid makes can rarely be duplicated. The Cowboys are coming to face them. Who do we watch on their team? My attention will be on Joey Galloway. This speedster should change his name to Mr. Everything. You need a catch for a first down or how about a touchdown on a post route? No problem. Just throw the ball his way and he'll do the rest. He'll even show off a little bit returning punts. Truly amazing. We choose hands. They call hands. Hands it is. The Cowboys elect to receive the kickoff. Break. Lugans sets it up and he'll kick it away to start the game. This is a nice kick. Tucker fields it in the end zone. Comes in and makes the tackle on the return. The Rams ought to apply pressure early on and establish the tempo of the game. If they can do that on this opening drive, they have a much better shot at controlling this game. The Cowboys have the ball, so let's get started. the line of scrimmage. Terrific job by the D-line on that one. Second and ten. We got it, we got it, right? Yo, yo, get him, get him, get him, get him. Go! Set! Green! Green! Comes in and makes the tackle. Joey Galloway made a nice grab. The pass comes in high, forcing him to slow just a little to make a catch. Not by much, though. And he didn't have any trouble with the completion. It's third and five. Go! Set! Pick him up! Pick him up! Pretty good! Over there! Over there! Over there! Barely gets it off. The pass is no good. Incomplete. The Cowboys should punt it away here, and they are going to give up some great field position. They're not in the exact position they want to be on the field, that is for sure. Cantrell will punt it away after a three and out. Good punt here. Lyle catches it. The 30, 45. He'll make the tackle on the return. It's the end of the first quarter, and it's still a scoreless game. First down, Rams. The Rams are on the field, and we'll see if they can put some points on the board. It's picked up. On at the five. The big play. He's sure to attack the long pass and then running it in for the touchdown. Okay, I expect this to be on the receiving end of a few more passes before this is all over. He's hot so well. Ray! Wilkins lines up for the point after.
Wilkins sets up and will kick it away. The kick is up. Tucker has it. Makes the tackle on the return. The return of 14. First down, Cowboy. The Cowboys will start this drive at the 22-yard line. James McKnight made a great catch that was probably tougher than it looks now. Not only was it coming in low and very fast, but it was about a step ahead of him. Not easy at all. Nope, but he was able to extend his arms and make the catch. Not slow down. Hits it off. McKnight was the intended receiver incomplete. They've got to go for it here on fourth down to try and make up some points. Cantrell comes in the punt after a three and out. There's the punt. McLeon catches it. 30 of 45. McLeon runs out of bounds on the return. The Rams have some very nice field position to work with this drive. A short field like this is almost a guaranteed score. 24 seconds on the game clock. Take it there. Sack, big hit, and that's their first sack of the game. Greg Ellis showed us exactly how to run the blitz there. What a big sack there. He'll add another one to his credit list. He should not only get credit for the sack, but he should get credit for pumping up this defensive unit with a great play like that. The clock shows nine seconds Yo, left. It's picked up. It's cut deep, and he's in for the touchdown! Zekus scores on a big play for his team, catching the extra large pass and taking it into the end zone for six. will line up for the point after. There's the kick. It's the end of the first half. The Rams are in control and up over their opponent. 14-0. Keep it up here. Right. The Rams have the lead Come and on, an opportunity to add even more down. on this opening drive of up. the second half. Greg Ellis brought a few friends through the line and ended up having a tailgater on the quarterback's portal. What a punishing blitz. Peter, he read that offensive line perfectly and was able to beat them back. 
It's like watching a pack of lions bring down a deer. You lose your wits, but you can't look away. Hey. All at the 21 yard line. Defense is going to have to try and find something to try to stop him. Red and 14 seconds left on the game clock. Right side, right side, right side. Hey, hey, hey! hey. 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 Nearly gets it off. The pass is incomplete. Warner felt he had to get rid of it, Dan, and I can't blame him. They were closing in fast. Two seconds left. Let's not give me anything. Nothing, baby. Right now, run. Somebody get over yeah, there. Get over yeah, there. Yeah. Get over there. Yeah. Right now, yeah. run. Incomplete. They missed their target. These past two plays. It's the end of the third quarter. The Rams defense is held and the offense has put up the points. So they lead 14-0. Third and ten. Come on, baby. Fourth quarter. Let's win this thing. Right side. Right side. Right. Yeah. Oh, Tremendous pickup for the first down. The Cowboys take their first time out and stop the clock. Red and ten seconds left on the game clock. Red and ten seconds up for the point after. Yo, yo! Get him, get him, get him, get him! It's up! Welcome! It's up! will kick this one away. Nice kickoff. Wiley catches it. Fletcher stops the return man in his tracks and makes the tackle. The Cowboys have the ball, but it's anybody's game. This is an important drive. The clock reads 46. Gave us the game. Go! Caught at the 22. Makes the hit and takes him down after a handful of yards. We have a flag on the play. Let's listen to the call. Number 98. Defense. Five-yard penalty. Repeat. Just move forward slightly. It was all the ref needed to make the flag. The clock is down to 38. They pick it up. Barely gets it off. Oh, Dan, look at how much more effective they are at stopping the pass. Credit's got to go to the DBs, who are playing some of the best football they've ever played. Right, Ryan, backwards. It's just easier. Right side, right side, left. Go! Three! Three, two! It's picked up. Down after making a great play, great interception. 
Dexter McLeon going on that shoulder, coming together and got where he needed to be for the interception. He put the game away for his side. What a terrific play! up for the kickoff. There's the kick. Tucker has it. Makes the tackle on the return. The Cowboys made a costly turnover last time they had the ball. Time is running low. They need to keep hold of the ball right here. Just 21 seconds left. Superb defensive play to come away with the interception. Fletcher thought that play was coming together and got where he needed to move for the interception and just put the game away from his side. What a terrific play! Block is at 15. That's my ball. You give it back, my ball. Right now. It's picked up. Barely gets it off. Incomplete pass. Warner threw that pass into the wrong part of the zone defense, Dan. Two defenders closed pretty quickly there. Well, at least he didn't lose the shirt and get picked off by the defender. True, and maybe he thought it was worth taking the chance. Still, if I see a zone get that crowded, I write it off and look elsewhere. Just 11 seconds remaining. up, signals, and we're ready for the kickoff. Got his leg behind this one. Tucker catches it. Tucker pounds it in the end zone. First down, Cowboy. Clock reads six. I thought that was a fluke. We're going to get the ball right back. Swing, swing, go! Set, ready! Great interception. Wild, all that was coming together. 
together and got where he needed to be. Put the game away from him. What a terrific play! Two seconds left. And welcome to the Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida, here on the Sega Sports Network. Well, this is what it all comes down to. Two teams, four corners, one victor, and the World Championship. Hi, everybody. I'm Dan Stevens, and with me is Peter O'Keefe, and we are proud to bring you the biggest spectacle in sport. Peter, who should we watch out for? Don't overlook Yancey Thigpen. This is a big play, clutch receiver who possesses tremendous experience and leadership for his team. The offense must maximize his abilities in order for them to come out on top. If everything goes according to plan, Yancey should have a big game here. So, defenders, beware. The Rams are coming to face them. Who will be the playmaker for their team? Dan, it's all about Isaac Bruce. This athlete is one of the best route runners in the NFL. With his smooth, fluid, and graceful style, he opens up space between him and the cornerback in a matter of seconds. Self-proclaiming that he's the best receiver in the NFL might be a little cocky, but it shows that he has a lot of confidence in his game. Big cold hand. Here's it is. The Rams will kick off, and they send their kicking wounded on the field. Ready for the opening kickoff. Nice kickoff. Mason catches it in the end zone. Mason pounds it in the end zone. First down, Titan. One goes, a minute, 59 seconds left. And George made a nice run. And I'll tell you why, Dan. Picking up that kind of yardage on the ground opens up the game totally. And how is that, Peter? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. Not you will. Yeah, the D has to pay more attention to the run now, and that creates room for the passing game. Aha. It's second and two. George smashed his way through to pick up some yards. Well, it was a lot of fight for not much game, but uh, hey, it was worth it. Third and one. Escapes a tackle. George 
sure didn't go down quietly, leading with his shoulder at the end to get a couple more before he was tackled. Well, I'll tell you, the defense looked like they weren't expecting him to wrestle so hard for a little extra yardage. That is a hard-nosed offensive player. It's the end of the first quarter, and it's still 0-0. Zero -zero. First and 10. Cleon did an outstanding job keeping his zone in check. He owns that property, Dan, and if you throw your ball in his yard, he ain't getting it back. Clock is at 55. Frank Whitechef did a great job of holding on to the ball after the big hit. He heard the footsteps coming, but just ignored them. Great job. It's all about concentration, Dan. He knew he was going to get hit, but he focused on the ball and came down with a punch. Clock reads 36. Listen to the call. Offside. Lined up in the neutral zone. Number 98. Defense. Five yard penalty. Still third. Hand. Wistrom was inside the neutral zone before the ball was hiked, and the ref threw the flag. The clock is down to 28. Gotta go for it here on fourth down to try and make up some points. Hentra comes in and will punt for the first time this game. to put the first points up on the board. It's nice to have the lead and be in control from the beginning of the game. The Rams are on the field, and you'll see if they can put some points on the board. Barely gets it off. Hot sideline, up in front of everybody. 40, the 25, 10, and he scores! Isaac Bruce showed why he's such a great playmaker. After making the catch, he chews up a lot of ground and gets into the end zone. You can't put your ability like that. for the point after. It's up. Yes, Wilkins, and the extra point. 
The Rams put the first points of the game on the board. 7-0. Right. Williams lines up, signals, and we're ready for the kickoff. This is returnable. Mason fields it deep. Makes the tackle on the return. The Titans take the field for the first time this half and we'll see how they respond to that last touchdown. Peter, I think the offense even lost a bit there. The clock shows a minute and 29 seconds left. Big Ben was the intended receiver, but the pass is off the mark and falls incomplete. Steve McNair had to give it up, Dan. The Barbarians were at the gate and would have KO'd him for a sack if he hadn't gotten rid of that football. Not only do they have to worry about the sack, they don't want to throw the coverage and risk the interception. Spirals it right. Incomplete. They've missed their target these past two plays. They've got to go for it here on fourth down to try and make up some points. Hendrick will punt it away after the three and out. Great punt. McLeon dabs it off the bounce. It's the end of the third quarter. The Rams currently enjoying a slight advantage, but it's anybody's game. 7-0. After the punt, they're up 7-0. We have a penalty marker on the play. Let's get the call from the field. In number 97, defense. Five-yard penalty. Jason Fisk has got to watch his field position. That's encroachment, folks. Ball on the 31. Pick it up. Oh. Bruce was the intended receiver. Incomplete pass. Marcus Robinson was the lone defender covering that zone. Well, it proved to be all that was needed to rain on the offense's parade. Great job. Yeah, you just can't coach defense like that. 57 seconds to go. It's got deep. The 40, the 25. No one in front of them. There's a penalty marker on the play. Let's listen into the call. Holding. Number 61. On the offense. Team guard throw. Are making it real easy on the defense. They commit the foul and just shoot themselves in the foot. All at the 21-yard line. Barely gets it off. The pass is no good. Incomplete. But Warner is really getting squeezed by the defenders there and quickly got off a pass that went nowhere. Better than getting sacked, I guess. Well, he's not putting much faith in his offensive line to keep the Wolves at bay. And based on how close they were getting, I don't blame him. Me neither. All of the 21-yard line. They handle the blitz. Two incompletes in a row, and the last two plays have looked a little ragged. Dan, it's fourth down, but they should feel pretty comfortable with this lead. I think comfortable enough to punt it away. Let's see what they do. Two seconds on the clock. 
Credit's got to go to the DBs who are playing some of the best football they've ever played. The right, line right. is at 35. differently, but I saw two defenders work in that zone, and Dan, to me, that makes it too dangerous to throw there. He's just lucky it didn't cost his team an interception. The clock shows nine seconds left. Incomplete, and that's the second incompletion in a row. Kurt Warner threw that pass into the wrong part of the zone defense, Dan. Two defenders closed pretty quickly there. Well, at least he didn't lose the shirt and get picked off by the defender. True, and maybe he thought it was worth taking the chance. Still, if I see a zone get that crowded, I'll write it off. Barely gets it off.